Hi there, and welcome to this week's weekly report. Uh, today, I want to talk about retirement, and it's so often, what does that really mean? I mean, in today's day and day and age, retirement just maybe means being to you might mean being financially independent, stepping back, not working as much. But often, it's not the same as the generation before where you work for a large company and you when you retire you're literally not earning any money or any additional money so just one understanding what retirement means to you is very important and this is one of the weaknesses I see in many of our clients and prospective clients portfolios when they are approaching retirement is that most every dollar they have is in their company sponsored plan or in what we'd call qualified retirement plans meaning you've used pre-tax money to fund the plan and what that means is when you start withdrawing funds from your company retirement plan you're going to be paying taxes on every dollar that you take out and when you're retired and you don't have any way to really earn additional income or you're earning much less income than you were taxes can really hurt you uh, in your retirement plan, making your money last for the rest of your life. So some tips that I would offer is ask, see if your company has any Roth IRA option inside of their plan, which often now most companies do, and maybe split the assets up in some Roth and some in the traditional uh, you know, pre-tax 401k, and then save money outside of just your qualified plan. Save money on a systematic basis into whether it's just setting up a mutual fund account and you're just dollar cost averaging in or a brokerage account or whatever it may be. Have some money that you've already paid taxes on. It's going to put yourself in a lot better situation in the long run. And this is another tidbit of advice that most advisors do not know and that is that if you are separated from service from your company's retirement plan, then you can actually withdraw funds penalty free at age 55 versus age 59 and a half. So that's uh, something to know and something to think about. Uh, so you retire from wherever it may be at 55 and you no longer work with, uh, with your company. If you've got money in your 401k, you can withdraw money from the 401k without paying any penalty. As if it's in an IRA, you're going to have to pay penalty at least until you're 59 and a half. Uh, so hopefully you can use that information. If you have any questions about it or if you want to actually implement a strategy, we at uh, Bear Wealth Management are happy to help you and your family. I'll go to our website, Bear 